Hi, today I want to share with you how to simulate RNC circuit using uh, electronic simulation tool of LTSpice. So as you know, uh, LTSpice is a free simulation tool developed by Linear Technology, which is now under the scope of uh, analog devices. So if, if you don't have it on your computer, you can download it directly from, uh, from the website analog devices. So, let's get started. We will create a new schematic. Okay, so it is done. Now we will proceed to the placement of the components we want. So I started by capacitor. Then I will place resistor. And I will need also uh, a voltage source. So here you can write only voltage and you have it. And in LTSpice we need also a ground, otherwise the simulation will not start and the circuit will not work. So I have all my components here. Now I will proceed to the connections. LTSpice is really an easy tool and robust, you can do many things with. So I have my circuits, all connections are done. Now I proceed to uh, the parameters of the, the components. So right click on the capacitor. Let's enter something like uh, 10 microfarad, 10 U, and the tool recognize directly automatically 10 microfarad. So let's do it for the resistor, the same thing, right click, let's take 1k, 1 kilo ohm, and for the generator, so this generator is something generic in LTSpice, you can do many, many things with, by uh, clicking in advanced you can generate alternate in uh, current, uh, uh, square signal, triangular, etc. But for this example, we will have to use only a DC, uh, a DC source. So we will enter the value of the voltage, so 10 volts. We can leave uh, series resistance, which is the, the series in, uh, yeah, the resistance in series with, uh, with the, the generator. We can leave it free so that we have a, a we have a perfect generator without resistance. So everything is parametered, is done. Now we can launch the simulation by clicking on this uh, on this icon. Uh, we have here configuration pop up uh, asking us uh, to enter some parameters here. The stop time. Let's take something like 100 milliseconds. You will see that it is enough recording the the time constant of the circuit. 100 millisecond will be enough. Uh, we start, uh, yeah, saving data from zero volts, and uh, only these two parameters are enough for this example. So here we have a second window that appears. <coughs> now we can show the signals we want. We want to show. So just go to the schematic, and uh, automatically some probes will appear on the locations of your of your mouse. So here we will we will see the input voltage, which is a yeah uh, uh, a DC current, yeah DC voltage. Uh, we go to the other side to show the voltage at the yeah at the pins of the capacitor. So here you can you can see the exponential uh, characteristic of uh, of uh, capacitor charge. So we have everything now. We can also show the current. So let's see the current inside the, the capacitor. So I have a green, yeah, I have a red curve that appears to show us the, the current. And just at, at the right, we have the, yeah, we have the level of, uh, of the values. So as you can see, we have 10 milliamps at the beginning of the charge which corresponds to 10 volts divided by 1k because you know at the beginning the capacitor acts like short circuit so as you can see um, the current inside the capacitor decreases when its voltage increases 
So as you may notice, uh, we have a complete charge at something like uh, 15 milliseconds, which corresponds to five times the time constant, because you know, time constants is R multiplied per C, so 1K per 10 microfarad is corresponds to 10 milliseconds. So at five times 10, mi 10 milliseconds, we have a complete charge of the capacitor. I hope this tutorial was interesting and helpful for you. Please thumb up and subscribe so that you can receive my future videos. Thank you. See you soon.